Hey, okay. I think let's hope it's gonna work. I think this is my third or fourth time to take here, but uh, it seems like internet connection isn't good enough to do a live Google upload. But anyway, we're recording it here and see if we can't get this downloaded. But wanted to get going here. It's been three days we've been in country and I have not made one of these yet. So gotta get it cranked. And um, it's just been, been very good, been very busy. Uh, you know, right from the beginning, we took off from New York Wednesday. Now Wednesday, we're headed down the sidewalk to the subway, out to JFK, and as we're coming down the subway steps, you know, I've got the two big duffel bags, and Teresa's got um, our two carry-ons, and there, as we're coming near the bottom of the steps, I'm wondering which side of the platform do I get, and there's a train stopped, and I see the driver in the front of the train, the subway train, and they're waiting for us. <laughs> I can't believe this is New York City, and they're waiting for us. So we come the rest of the way down the steps and hustle in there, and they say, yeah, yeah, I said, is this the one? Yeah, get in, this is the one for the airport. They could see us with our bags. Um, it was such like a great sign uh, of uh, what would be a good trip and it was it was a great trip over and uh, although our flight was canceled out of Nairobi but they took care of, good care of us but up the night in Nairobi so we got here Friday afternoon and um, sunny and gorgeous you know flying in here it's just those incredible feelings that come over you as you see the hills and you see the lakes and and uh, and it's just um, such an incredible, incredible country. And Friday afternoon, walking down the sidewalk, you know, after we got checked in, here's a lady uh, with one crutch, recognizes us. We took a second, and then I recognized her, Elizabeth. She'd worked for one of our friends, a dentist who'd been here before. And since we'd left, she'd lost a leg to cancer. She's really doing well walking on this um, artificial leg, walking back and forth to work at the hospital. Uh, where she did recovery. I think she got a job after her recovery there at the hospital or something. But uh, big smile, uh, very grateful and happy, and um, not all about, you know, poor me or anything, which was very cool. And uh, she probably walks a mile to work and back every day. But anyway, been, been, uh, went and saw uh, Sarai family, the family who was with me in our home with during the genocide, had a great meal at her house Friday night, such good old Rwandan food, and and then um, Saturday morning we were at a church, probably about a thousand, I don't know, or maybe two thousand people, huge, huge place, and uh, speaking on hope, which was, the th in fact, the choir that was singing was called the Voice of Hopes, and they were so, oh, the blend, the harmony, so, so good, but it's been a good beginning. We've been at this um, symposium here, the, uh, what's it say, International Symposium on the Genocide Against Tutsi. And uh, it's been very interesting. We've had uh, presenters mostly from Rwanda, though some from America, Canada, France. You know, today they were discussing how different people are trying to deny the genocide, if you can imagine, deny that it ever happened, and a lot of the negative press about no genocide. A couple of people from France were talking about how France has been presenting this in the press and stuff that, you know, no genocide in Rwanda. It's just crazy. I Anyway, um, the last Saturday night, really good documentary. In fact, so powerful I couldn't couldn't watch the whole thing. You know, as you're back and driving through different parts of the city and of course all the memories flooding back and some of you maybe remember I wrote a blog last time I was here in August kind of feeling desperate for new memories. And as this lady was giving her testimony, it's a play, and they filmed the play. Actually, although not an actor, she she's a survivor, a nurse, talking about the people and the betrayal at the beginning, the first days, and her husband and three children, ladies who had delivered in her clinic, and ah, uh, it's really powerful. It's called um, let's see, it's called Rwanda 1994. The guy you could Google Philip Tasman, T A S Z M A N. Uh, Philippe, um, and uh, he's promised to bring me a short, and it was like a five-hour one. He's promised to bring me a shorter one that they have completed already tomorrow, I hope so. I want to make that available to teachers and to anyone else. It, it's probably one of the best articulated testimony that's just um, very, very powerful. And the First Lady visited our symposium today, which was very special. and. Um, Tomorrow I have an opportunity to moderate one of the panels, so we'll see how that goes. And of course Tuesday is the big day where everything is shut down and everybody, well not everybody, but many people will come to the site of the Genocide Memorial. There'll be two events, one that I have the privilege of speaking at with the president and I think there's a choir and another survivor. Didn't look like a lot of people on the program. 
and um, then in the evening we'll be uh, in the National Stadium, a candlelight service and stuff. So hopefully you'll find some of that on, excuse me, online. I'll see if I can't find some websites to send. So anyway, I don't want this to get too long, but I want to let you know we're here and things are going well, and uh, we will be more faithful with this blog. I will be more faithful. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well, and hope I sleep here. What? It's uh, 11.20, so let's see how this jet lag lets us sleep through the night, but um, we're, we're grateful. Hope things are well there. You know, piece of incredible news today. I hope it's true. We'll see as, as, as the week goes on, but talking about Zimbabwe deciding to rebuild ties with the West, which is just incredible, incredible if it can be. Um, but uh, we pray, pray that it is. Anyway, good to talk to you. And again, if you have any questions uh, you'd like me to address while I'm here or stuff like that, don't hesitate to email. Email doesn't seem to be a problem for us. We'll see how this video blogging goes, though. So, adios.